Anyway, it seems like I haven't done a video forever. I've been working on a bunch of projects. We had a bunch of people in the studio. So there's been uh, a lot of other video action going on, but just not, uh, not for fun. Not tired, or not all for fun. Really. Anyway, I'm just going to pick up uh, Kara at the plaza. And also Midway has a uh, park for the 74 here. I've essentially been driving the uh, 74 uh, pretty much 100% of the time. I intended to do much more of a split between this and the 66, but uh, Kara's already got the handle on the 66, so she used it sometimes during the day. And also, this was the beater, right? So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna completely wear out one of the cars, it might as well be this one. Hasn't given me any grief really, except the other day I was out and I uh, was on the highway. And the alternator uh, gauge, which I think is still amp meter or an ammeter. I'll have to check that. I know the 66 and it's an, it's an ammeter. It's not a, uh, you know, not a voltage meter. And it was pinned to the right, which here says plus 40. <laughs> so I'd never seen that before. I'm not even wiggling, but just wham. My suspicion is that uh, that's the voltage regulator. I haven't seen that happen again. And by the time I got home or whatever, I tested the voltages and everything was putting out right, so... Luckily I was not running the headphones at that time, or that could have been a problem. If there was, like, you know, 30 volts coming out of the alternator, it could very well blow the headlights. Just for interest sake, I've got a second cam in the window. Another view. It's a beauty day out here in Souk today. I'm actually supposed to be at work right now. There's the uh, repair that we have to do to a piece of equipment that failed on uh, Thursday. But the uh, the delivery of the part from Toronto keeps getting screwed up and UPS, I don't know, cancelled one of their flights or something, now it won't be here till midnight. So I'm going to have to do it tomorrow, I guess. Tomorrow being Sunday. So we'll see. I haven't worked a weekend in a while for day work anyway, but sometimes you gotta. Anyway, at Midway, they have a uh, voltage regulator for me, so pretty simple install. I might keep the camera running while I do it, but it's like a you know, 35 second job kind of thing. Actually, I shouldn't say that. That, that turns it into three hours. But. up a little bit. It's probably averaging about 15 right now. Um, not terrible, but not excellent. I hear lots of people saying, oh yeah, you know, whatever, an old Dart or Valiant, you know, slide six. You know, I've heard people say they can get 30 miles a gallon out of it. I, I think that's bullshit. So, I am doing a combination of both, uh, you know, city and highway. But yeah, no, I, I don't think I don't think 30s in the cards, but I, I think the low 20s are totally possible. If I could get this thing up to averaging 20, uh, that would be really good. I don't know what gas prices are like where you are, but they're fucking terrible here, I'll tell you. I think right now it's a dollar thirty a liter 
Yeah, 129.9. That's just for the regular shit. I, I don't put high test in here, but I probably should just for the sake of uh, not having ethanol. a good day for a drive, an actual cruise somewhere. Part one in this video, I mentioned that uh, when I was driving around the other day, I was on the highway and I noticed the uh, voltmeter or, or ammeter or whatever on the dash was uh, pinned to the positive side. Never seen that before. Luckily, I didn't have the lights on, or it probably would have blown them up. Um, but my initial suspicion is that this voltage regulator is either starting to fail or got poorly grounded or something and uh, was allowing way too much current to go from the alternator over to the battery. Um, it calmed down not long after I'd seen it <clears throat> and it hasn't recurred but uh, under certain programs that would not be a wonderful thing to have happen so I'm gonna replace it. I have disconnected the battery because I don't like fucking around with the alternator outputs when that's the case. In here, I believe, uh, well, this is all potted, but uh, I don't even know if this is a, a fully electrical one or whether it's uh, like a physical kind of spring resistor kind of thing. Oh, look at that shiny. Match on that. God damn thing of beauty is what that is. I don't have too many shiny parts on here. People think it's not a beater anymore. And I give those a bit of a rough up with the uh, sandpaper. At least it's not a gasket job. Hey, what do you know? The holes line up. Chinese are doing good work these days. Actually, I don't know if this is China or Mexico or what. China. dielectric grease I would probably fill that up well that's pretty goddamn simple in typical fashion I'm keeping this around just in case that were to strand me for some reason people wonder why the car rides so low partly it's the shocks and partly I got shit like this fill in the trunk. I checked the plugs uh, the last uh, last weekend there. I checked plugs. Uh, plug number two and three are still hot. They were white. Uh, 
I didn't have a new set of plugs, so I just uh, sanded and filed those off. But I'm going to have to get to the grips with uh, what that is. I'm hoping a valve adjustment will do it, but I'm not sure that it will. It doesn't really sound like it has any valve clatter right now, but uh, maybe that will help. The timing is roughly good, so I don't... And uh, the other thing is I've been screwing around a lot with the uh, mixture ever since I've been screwing with the uh, carburetor, so it could be that I've just got it too too rich or whatever, and it's um, burning hot. Um, or the plugs have a reach that they shouldn't do. You know, maybe I, maybe I need a slightly shorter plug, or... I've, the ones I'm running here are, are recommended by all the Slant 6 guys, but uh, with a longer reach that puts it, you know, outside the quench area, but... We'll have to see. It's it's I don't know. It's not stopping the car from operating, but it's something that's not perfect. When I look at the plugs on the '66, they look almost new. And even on a bad day, they might have a little bit of uh, black into them, but a little bit of carbony. But um, they don't stand out like the ones that come out of here. Anyway, I'm going to hook the battery back up and then uh, we're going to move our go off. It didn't come close, but I probably should have checked that the GoPro mount uh, wasn't going to get smacked off by the fan. <laughs> I could certainly deal with that. Kind of looks like it has another voltage regulator over here. Wired right in. But it must be something else because it's... I don't know. I'm going to go turn the lights on and see if it's modified. So that's what it looks like normally. And then when I was driving the highway, it was like completely freaking pegged up. Anyway, that's kind of uh, it for now. Quick repair. I'll put this video together and um, we'll talk soon. Take care for now.